Next at 6, the shooting of a white deer in Sauk County this gun deer season has residents upset. The DNR Bureau of Law Enforcement has completed its investigation on the case and has turned it over to the courts. Melina Jones talked to one Sauk County resident who says the white deer was cherished among locals. Residents in Plain, Wisconsin say they would frequently see the deer roaming around in this field right here. Now they say they're furious that they'll never be able to catch a glimpse of him again. That was his home though right there. That's where he lived all the time. For years, Brian Walsh watched the same deer roam his property. Daughter named him right away. Couldn't think of a better name. So his name was Whitey. Almost four years to the day Walsh first saw the deer, he discovered a hunter had shot and killed him. When I heard about it, yeah, it was a sickening feeling, like, you know, your horse died or, or, or a family pet died. It's a feeling, he says, many others share in the community with pictures and videos capturing the big white buck. Everybody drove by just to see him. Everybody drove by just to get a look at the big white buck. It's a loss that hurts more, knowing that by law, his death shouldn't have happened. This deer is protected. That means you don't kill him. People don't go out and shoot badgers or cranes. This deer was protected, therefore someone else thought that this was important also. In Wisconsin, it's illegal to kill a white deer. Despite the fines, Walsh says that's not enough. You can go out and shoot this monarch and pay a $303 fine and it's over and done with. But $303 doesn't bring the enjoyment that 100 people around here had of seeing that white deer all the time. In Sauk County, Valina Jones, WISC News 3. The residents in the area have made a website called protectthewhitedeer.com for people to learn more about this rare animal. Advocates are also making a Facebook page for the deer killed last week and are asking for stricter laws to be put in place.